Oh, damn it. Out of wire. Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. I'm Roy. Good to see you again. So, we're back on the U tray. I've done a little bit since you were last here. Not sure whether I had these wheel arches on um, in the last video. I've plated in in between the toolbox and the um, side of the tray. We have put some little tie down points in the tray. I've just gone to put some checker plate into these um, to fill in this headboard and we run out of wire. So I've got to go get some wire, but I'll see you again right now. Yeah, all right, back from Bunnings. Oh, I got more wire. I did get the wrong size. So this is 0.8 mil. It did have 0.9 in there. It's not a big deal. You don't need a new liner. All you do is just change this. So this was on 0.9. We change the roller to point to the 0.8 side, which is that side. And we're good to go. Feed him through. Screw him back in. Flip it down. Give it a little bit of tension because it's 0.8 now, not 0.9. Don't forget this little fella. And now we just switch the roller on with no gas. Pull the trigger and pull that through. I will need a different tip because I'm on 0.8 now. While I was at Bunnings, we hit 2,000 subscribers on this channel, which, guys, I'm just blown away. Like, every one of you guys that watches this stuff, um, I never dreamt this channel would be anything like this. I started it out just, just for fun. I bought the ute to fix up for work, and then I thought, what the heck, let's start recording it. So, thank you, every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. It means so much to me. I've got something pretty cool planned as a bit of a celebration for 2K subs. So stay tuned for that, but let's get stuck into the ute tray. Guys, what I've done here is known as the 10 mil trick. So this trick comes in a range of sizes. There's the 100 mil trick, 10 mil trick, multiple other measurements trick. Measure once, cut twice. Yeah, that's what I've done here. Measure twice, cut once is the same. Let's fix it. That's better. sort of finish welded that. So I'm just stitching this for now. So I've got a 50 mil stitch every here and there. And I'll go through with Seeker Flex from the other side. I'll put masking tape over this and Seeker it from the other side um, to seal off the gap because it is a little bit gappy um, in spots. But it's really strong. I'm happy with it. Now for the tie rails. So I've mocked this up just out of cardboard with a bit of pipe. So that's 32 MB pipe. With a heavy wall um, it's kind of drooped a bit but it's going to sit about there and i've got an angle plate on the front flat plate on the back i don't like this bracket it's a bit too wide so i'm going to narrow that down change the angle a bit sort of bring it in here so i'll fix that and then we'll have the same behind the wheel arch back corner of the tray there i do have to lift this up and weld up underneath here first so got a bit on let's get into it Alrighty, so I've ground all of these. I keep saying alrighty. I don't know why I say alrighty. That's another word I can say. Okay, so I've ground all these down, um, ready to make up the little brackets at each end um, and cut my tie rails to size. I just chucked in these tie down points just to have a look at it. Get myself excited about it. Looking good. Anyway, I've got to go put dinner on. So, hey, why don't you come with me? Let's go upstairs.
Hey Siri, set a timer for three hours. Three hours, starting now. Back in the garage, I've traced my cardboard bracket templates onto a piece of three mil sheet and I'm cutting them out with the plasma cutter. When I'm cutting brackets like this, I always toss up between whether the plasma cutter or a grinder is the way to go, purely because the plasma cutter requires so much cleanup. But what I've done here is stacked all four um, similar plates together and clamped them, and then I can grind all four at the same time to make sure they're the same shape. Okay, that's the first of the rope rails um, tacked in. Tie rails, rope rails, whatever you want to call them. I will have to cut these tacks um, and up the other end and pull the whole thing off to fully weld around the back of the rail. What I've gone for is 20 mil out from the side of the tray. So this is a 50 mil ratchet strap and this is what I've made them work for. So 50 mil ratchet strap will fit um, and that's all I really care about. It'll also act as a bit of a slider uh, when I'm out in the bush. It'll also get a plate in the middle here. It'll sort of be a bit wider at the top, a bit thinner at the bottom. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the back rail. So this is my new Evolution Rage Saw. I'll put the link in the description, but this is real time cutting 25 MB medium wall pipe. It's an absolute weapon. The setup for the rear rail was identical to the front, obviously flipped, so I won't waste your time too much with this one. For the centre brackets I used 50 by 5 flat bar and I cut it to 15 degrees. Still can't believe how quick this saw goes, it's an absolute unit. We got tie rails baby! Just clean and tidy, chamfer on the front um, to bump me out off any trees. Nice tie rail, fits a 50mm ratchet buckle around it, sturdy as hell, like it's 32mm 30, NB, OD. Uh, I get confused. The outside diameter is 32mm and it's got a freaking heavy wall on it, so. Yeah, so we've got tie rails going on. Next week we'll be back here and we'll be doing brakes and wheel bearings on the ute, ready to get it on the road. Thanks for 2k subs guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.